the history of the Playhouse is, is uh, it's extraordinary and, it's, and it's, it's deeply rooted in the history of New York. Two sisters, Alice and Irene Lewison, started the, uh, the Playhouse at the, in the Henry Street settlement down in, in the Lower East Side. Mr. Meisner joined them, uh, or joined the work of the Playhouse in the mid-30s. It was really clear that here was someone who came out of a tra tradition working with the group theater, working with uh, the early concepts of Stanislavski, and saw an opportunity here at the Playhouse to really evolve. The work forces you to you know, come to terms with yourself uh, artistically. Meisner said one time um, that working the way we do here at the Neighborhood Playhouse will force all of you into contact with yourself, perhaps in a serious way for the first time. All the classes at the Playhouse are designed, really, to get the actors to be able to commit to things. They all work hand in hand. The work that the speech department does, the work that the dance department does, and the work that the acting department does, if people throw themselves into all of those things, every actor needs to know how to move, every actor needs to know how to speak, and every actor needs to know how to commit. It's a group dynamic. It's a theater company, really, in a sense. I mean, people come from all different parts of the world, they come from all different parts of the United States. They're put in these classrooms in small groups of people, and it becomes very intimate and very involved and very healthy. And they're asked to do things that are, I think John Patrick Shanley said that theater is a safe place to do the unsafe thing, unsafe things that need to be done. And people do that here. And the proof of that is the number of people that have come out of there who have gone on to become people who set the standard of acting themselves and change the, a great deal about American acting. When you're a student at the Neighborhood Playhouse, there's more interaction now with the industry at large. More agents come in, more casting directors come in. We do workshops. Most of the teachers, myself included, that you're going to work with are working professionals. So you're working with people in the industry all the time, and that's what you want. You walk around, you wonder, like, all the, all the people that have walked through these halls and been going through the same exact process that you're going through. It's certainly an en enriching experience knowing that you're in good company. And it also inspires you to do your best. It's hard to talk about acting. It's hard to talk about the Neighborhood Playhouse. Because you have to experience it. The Neighborhood Playhouse for me has been such a safe place. We're, we're encouraged to make so many mistakes because that's how we learn. And um, it's taught me to make any place a safe place. We're not being hardwired to become a certain type of actor. We're learning how to find ourselves each individually as actors. Anybody who's out there who's in real pursuit of a, of a dream to be an actor, to hone their skills at a very deep level, you know, they will understand that this is the kind of environment that one needs. Once you enter this place, you become part of this place, you know, and that's, that's the name of the Playhouse. The, the principles that we teach here now, that we were taught, uh, many of us, by Meisner himself, uh, when we were students here, um, you can see them reflected. I, I, if you look at uh, interviews with uh, the great Robert Duval, who went here back in the mid-1950s. I think it's the beginning and the end of acting for me, is behavior. And I think the way Sandy uh, wanted people to improvise to set it up for them to learn how to do that was to talk, listen, listen, talk, just like we're doing now, not knowing what's coming next, you know, and just taking from the moment. He's still talking from the same point of view of the principles that he learned when he was here uh, and internalized so many years ago about uh, the reality of doing and working organically and going moment to unanticipated moment um, that we still teach here because those are tried and true uh, principles of acting that are never going to go out of fashion because they're the principles of good acting. The people who come to the Neighborhood Playhouse 
are people who want to follow their dream. And uh, that's what brings them through that front door.